What's going on everybody, Thomas here, and this is Buffalo Fanatics. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about each and every single one of the Buffalo Bills new drafted players in the 2018 NFL Draft, and what to expect from them in 2018, and what kind of players did we get in this draft. Stay tuned and find out. So to kick us off, we got Josh Allen, the quarterback out of Wyoming, six foot five, two hundred and thirty-seven pounds. He ran a four-seven-six, and he declared for the draft as a junior. Now Josh Allen is a special, special quarterback in my opinion. I didn't like when we drafted him, but after learning about him now, I'm pretty happy with the pick, and I'll be just fine with it. So here is what I've written about Josh Allen. When the pocket collapses, his eyes are looking downfield for the big play. He's not Tyrod Taylor. He's not going to see, um, for the most part, he'll probably do this a couple times, but for the most part, Tyrod Taylor would see the, the pocket break down, run outside, and run for a four or five yard gain. Same thing. He'd check it down, four or five yard gain. I mean, it's all right, but sometimes you want to go for that big play. You want to look downfield. That's what Josh Allen brings to the table. Also, very similar, if not identical, to Carson Wentz and Cam Newton in speed, size, and big playability with their feet. Very mobile. Um, that's something else that you're getting with him. Maybe not as fast as Tyrod Taylor, but you got a guy that makes up for the speed loss in the size gain. So he's very big. He's going to run over and run through defenders, um, and he trusts his arm. He trusts his arm. That's the last thing. He trusts his arm to make big time and small window throws. NFL throws. He trusts his arm to do it. He's not He's not arrogant to the point where he thinks that he can make every single throw in the book. He is the best quarterback. That's what Josh Rosen thinks. Josh Rosen is very arrogant because he thinks that he, um, he can make every single throw in the book and that he's kind of like the perfect guy. That's why I'm pretty happy that we didn't get him because he kind of seems like he doesn't really play with a chip on his shoulder. He's like... I am the best quarterback in this draft, and I know it. And it's just it's just cocky, and he wouldn't fit well in Buffalo. First off, so that's I'm I'm kind of happy we got we got a small town, big play dude in Josh Allen, and I'm excited about it. Moving on, we have the linebacker out of Virginia Tech, Tremaine Edmonds. First off, fantastic pick. This dude is 6'5", 253 freaking pounds, and he ran a four five four man. That dude is a, a, a freaking superhuman. I mean, talk about the size and the speed. That is, that's what you want from your linebacker position. That is like ideal. And he's 19 years old. We drafted him at 19 years old. In a few days, he'll be 20. But that's crazy, man. Think about that. That's crazy. 250 pounds, even just 250 pounds running a 4.54. That's incredible, but then you add the 6'5", the height to that, man, that is incredible. But here's what I've written about him. He, he gives every inch of his body on every single play. He's got a high motor. He's going to throw his body around to make the tackle. He's going to give everything he's got, which is very uh, important um, as far as tackling goes. You don't want to be lazy, and that's exactly what Tremaine Edmonds brings to the table, the not lazy high motor factor. He also has great pursuit and the speed to recover uh, from a bad read. If he commits too much on the run and it's a pass, he has the, the speed to get uh, to the tackle. Um, not every time, but he's pretty good in that regard, and I labeled him as a downhill thumper. Um, I, just, I just like that name, and I think that fits well for him. Also, he's got textbook tackling. When he's tackling a target, his eyes are up, his head is up. Minneapolis Miracle. That guy, Marcus Williams, that safety, he put his head down, and guess what, guess what happens? They lose the game. Ryan Shazier, right? He lowers his head, he gets injured. Imagine if he has his head up, he can actually see where he's hitting instead of using that, that crown of his head and getting, and getting uh, paralyzed, pretty much. That's not what you're getting with Tremaine Edmonds. You're getting a solid tackler who ta has textbook tackling. Moving on, we have the defensive tackle from Stanford, Harrison Phillips, or in my opinion, Kai Williams 2.0. Look at this picture. They look the same. What are you talking about? They, they look the exact same. It's just funny um, to me. He's six foot three, 307 pounds, 
and he ran a 5-2-1, and he's also a senior. Here's what I got to say about him. He's got good eyes. You usually don't say that about defensive tackles, but he's got good eyes. He looks for the running back and the quarterback, and he moves the offensive lineman out of the way to get there. He's able to shed the blocks and eat up the space. So if he can't detach from that offensive lineman, he's going to move it, move him in the way that the running back is coming to basically eat up that space. Also, he's very strong. He was the bench press king at the combine with 42 reps. And I just, I, I think that that's very important. Um, 42 reps of 225 pounds, that is, uh, that's, that's very impressive. And I think we got a steal in him because, listen to this, a hundred something tackles. He led the team in tackles in 2017, I believe. You never hear of a nose tackle leading the team in tackles. He is definitely, definitely a good player, and he's definitely going to learn a lot from Kyle Williams, and I think that that was a very smart pick. Moving on, we have the cornerback from Weber State, Teron Johnson. He's 5'11", he's 192 pounds, and he ran a 4-5-0. Here's what i got to say about him. He's got good hands when playing the ball. He's able to make the interception, or at least uh, break up the pass. He's got quick feet, and he's got some pretty good recovery speed, so if he over... If you over jump something, he's able to come back um, and make the play if he needs to. And he's also more of a slot receiver. Um, so if you're wondering basically what kind of what, what he's going to play on defense, he's probably going to fill that spot uh, for the slot. Um, and then also, in my opinion, um, I think he's going to give up some big plays at the NFL. I really do. Um, he's not always in the right position. Um, and I really think that. Uh, this is why he's a fourth round pick, but I think that, you know, he needs a lot of time to develop and learn the game. Uh, but I, I have full confidence in Sean McDermott. I mean, you saw how he transformed our secondary. So I have full confidence and hopefully Teron Johnson can be our lockdown slot corner. So next up, we got Saron Neal, the strong safety out of Jacksonville State. He's six foot, 206 pounds, ran a four, five, six, and he's a senior. He's a heavy hitter. He loves to lay the lumber. He's also a quick decision maker, and he's got good play recognition. I love how he has some pretty good instincts, and he's very aware of what's going on. And my player comparison here is Cam Chancellor, because, man, if you look at the tape, if you look at his film, man, he hits so hard like Cam Chancellor, and that's what I thought he looked like. Moving on, we have the guard out of Virginia Tech, Wyatt Teller. Wyatt Teller is 6'5", 314 pounds. He ran a 5'2", 4", and he's a senior. Now, here's what I got to say about him. He's one of the best offensive linemen at Virginia Tech in a very long time. He had no sacks in his last season with Virginia Tech. He also had a top five combine performance for offensive line at bench press, broad jump, and three cone. He's very strong and muscular, and I think he's going to be that replacement for Richie Incognito at left guard. That's what he played at Virginia Tech, and I think he's a starter. Um, he may even be better than Vladimir Dukas and John Miller. Um, and that's what I think. I think this guy is uh, a pretty good late round steal. Um, I, I, I like this. I like this pick a lot. So moving on, we have the wide receiver out of Clemson, Ray Ray McLeod. Now McLeod is five foot ten, 190 pounds. He ran a four five three, and he came into the draft as a junior. Now here's what I gotta say about him. He's very versatile in the special teams game. He's known for returning punts. I'm sure he can also do kicks as well. He's got 717 career return yards. I like this pick because it fills two holes, wide receiver and special teams. Um, the Brandon Tate hole, it's filled now. Um, he brings speed and elusiveness. He's a new deep threat, able to get a lot of separation against DBs, making big plays down the field. Um, that's why I said new deep threat. I like this pick. And lastly, we have Austin Prohl, wide receiver, North Carolina State University. He's 5'9", 182 pounds. Apparently, he ran a 4-4-1. I'm not sure if that's entirely true because I got it on the internet and never trust the internet 100%. Um, but he's also a senior. So here's what I got to say about him. Very fired up, very angry. Plays with big chip on his shoulder. Wants to prove it. Um, he's got pretty good elusiveness in juke moves. Um, he's got good hands and awareness to where he is on the field, and he gets feet in bounds after the catch. Very aware in that regard. Um, and my player comparison is Julian Edelman. Talk about white, shorter, seventh round wide receivers. 
in my opinion, if you look at the stats, he looks like Julian Edelman. So that's what I think there. So that's gonna do it for me, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, go leave a like down below, comment your opinions, tell me what you guys think about this kind of video. I uh, just wanted to let you guys know a little bit about the new Buffalo Bills that we have that we're gonna see in 2018 and what kind, what kind of to expect and uh, what kind of players they are. Also, don't forget to subscribe, especially if you like my new t-shirt that I got from the Buffalo Bills draft party. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, it'll make me very happy, man. Um, and let, let's get to 3K already on here. Come on, guys. Come on, let's get to 3K. We're busting our asses here. Come on, help us out. Also, guys, don't forget to hit that bell to notify you every single time we have a new video um, so that you never miss another upload. But that's going to do it for me, everybody. I hope you guys have a great day wherever you're watching this from. And go Bills. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.